So hey there, uh, what's your name? My name is Rika Madrid. Okay, and Rika, uh, what brings you here today? Well, I'm an organizer with Occupy Monsanto. I'm here today at the FDA to eat some stone soup with a bunch of my fellow organizer activists and really convey the message to the FDA that Monsanto has no business making rules up in our government and, um, and that we need to take food democracy and um, food safety very seriously when it comes to genetically modified organisms. Now you identify yourself as one of the organizers of this event. What's your role here today? Um, I'm basically taking um, taking stock of this uh, protest right here, keeping track of who's who, talking to the press, making sure people have the right information, and um, you're just kind of like keeping tabs on um, on what's going on, make sure there's peace, so make sure that everybody's being really friendly and nice to everybody who works here at the FDA. I know they're trying to do their best, but um, we, we demand more. So there were reports that there are five overlapping law enforcement agencies here today. Can you tell me a bit about the role of law enforcement in this event? Well, um, coming from Washington, D.C., we're used to having uh, lots of different uh, jurisdictions represented. You know, this is federal property, so we're not surprised to see Homeland Security here today. Um, uh, in my experience here in D.C., the cops have always been very courteous and professional, and we've never had issues with um, with Occupy Monsanto protests, so we don't expect any today. I heard there are buses coming from a few different locations. Can you speak a bit about that? There are. We have groups coming from uh, up in Boston, up in the um, Northeast uh, Corridor. We've got a group coming from Chicago. We've got a group coming from, um, there's one group coming from Atlanta by way of Asheville, North Carolina. That should be a big group also. So we're really excited to have people join us from all over the country. So there are a lot of different people here with uh, different beliefs and ideologies. What's the most important takeaway from this event for you? Well, the thing that we can all agree on and 92% of Americans agree on is that GMOs should be labeled. No matter what you think of them, what they are, at least we need to know what's in our food. We have a right to know what's in our food. So. Uh, some people here are strict vegans, some people here deal in raw milk, you know, we're, we're all united in, um, in thinking that Monsanto really has no role in the FDA's um, administration of law here in our government. Here. So, okay, so final question, Rika, uh, if the government or if the FDA is not willing to label GMOs, um, what, what sort of approach uh, do you think that Occupy Monsanto would take? Is it likely that you would um, put pressure on individual companies to label their GMOs like Whole Foods has done in recent days or what's your strategy yeah, here? Yeah, well we've we've been using a multi-pronged approach for a very long time. We've been going to Monsanto shareholder meetings as a shareholder. We've been, you know, there's a, uh, the recent uh, petition uh, to protect G uh, protect foods against GMOs uh, was distributed by over a quarter million people. We use every strategy at our disposal and sometimes even direct action, civil disobedience, as, as we did last September in Oxnard, California when we shut down a seed distribution facility. Okay, I said last question, but you just mentioned civil disobedience. Yeah. And th that means I have to know what what civil disobedience uh, was, wh wh what happened? Well, last September, a group of us, nine of us, uh, went to a seed distribution facility, a Seminas company in Oxnard, California, which is a subsidiary of Monsanto and we uh, blocked their three entrances which would have let uh, trucks in or out of their parking lot and effectively shut down business all day long. Um, we were completely uh, peaceful but we were also not going to move and we uh, were eventually cut out of our restraints and taken to jail and charged with a misdemeanor trespass and we're still fighting those charges. Thank you so much. Uh, where can people learn more about what you do? Occupy-Monsanto.com Thank you so much, Rika. Have a great day. Thank you.